Hey, my friends, this is Young's Paper Creations. I want to be able to uh, make sure that I'm in frame here for you. Thank you so very much for joining me. I have a cute and at the same time, this tutorial is not new. It is just amazingly useful. And so I am looking to continue to spread and encourage this solution to our scraps. So before you, you see I've got a number of scrappy pieces of paper. And at one point, many of us used to give away our scraps, right? But no more. Uh-uh. So listen, this is Young's Paper Creations coming to you. And listen, if you're not subscribed as yet, Please go ahead and subscribe and share this channel. I am here to be able to engage my Canadian friends to get them to, uh, you know, find out a little bit more about paper crafting and journaling more specifically because, of course, journaling is one of the most uh, productive way of planning our lives, our futures, and getting our thoughts on paper and. We need to get back to that um, way of living. And in our journal making, we've encountered that it's very difficult to get rid of our scraps, right? And I too, I used to give away my scrappy papers to my daughter's friends. But now I find that when I do, it's wonderful. But I know that I can indeed use my scraps. So follow me. I'm going to show you quickly. But most of you, you're coming to know this, okay? I know some of you are aware of this. So basically, we're going to take all of our scrappy strips here that we get from our cutoffs, and I'm going to layer them. I'm going to layer my scraps. And I want to be able to have different layers, like a waterfall layer to them. So you, th you do you see the pattern? You see the waterfall, and you're going to see how cute this is going to look when I'm finished. I hope you're liking my <laughs> my little counter here. I placed this lovely um, wallpaper sample sheet down, and I'm liking this here, this design of this flower right here. So here I've got my waterfall layers. And I just found another strip. I'm going to put this one maybe here. So it's all about the eyes. What what You'll play around and see what looks attractive to the eye. And then we're going to leave it once we've decided how we want it to look. Now, of course, I can tweak the formation of this but I wanted it to have some symmetrical type of uh, sink going so here I've got the blue then I've got the green and I've got the white and this one matches this and then I brought in the blue again from the bottom we don't have to overthink it but we just want to have something pretty and then at the top I left it white because I've stamped here always on this piece of scrappy paper and I just think this will be nice to have the always one more thing that I will go in and do now is to cut off my... I want to first decide how long do I want this strip to be. And I've decided. Okay? Now once I've decided how long I want it to be, I'm going to go on in and cut off the portion that I no longer need. So this is what I have left. Alright? So I'm going to put that aside. And I want to bring in, I'm going to bring in my crocodile because that's going to help me. I'm going to rest this down here just for a second. And I've got my handy dandy. I like traveling with this little plastic bag of my eyelet. So let's see, let's find, I found one. And I'm going to make my hole. So I'm going to take it from the top. 
All right, you've secured it. You've got the formation going. I'm going to make my hole. So this here, we have the crocodile, and I want to be able to use the bigger hole. All right. And seal it in place. Ooh, I just lost one. Uh-oh. Okay, so we're... This is something that happens at times. Sometimes you lose your strip. And I can see that it was not secured in the area that I wanted it to be. So I'm going to move it up because it was too short. So like I said, sometimes you have to play around. And this is one of those times. So I'm going to go back and make my hole once more. I'm going to put in my eyelet. Uh-oh. One second. Un segunda. Yep, I used the small hole. That explains it. So when you're using your crocodile, just make sure you're using the bigger of the two holes. I forgot the measurement. Some of you know better than I do. And I'm just going to use this handy dandy scissors to make sure I define my hole properly before I lose it. Oop, I just lost my eyelet. Oh. When you're on camera, anything is possible, guys. Anything is possible in these tutorials. But that's okay. I got it. So now I'm going to go in and make sure I seal it. So you want to hold it for support sometimes so that it doesn't shrivel around on you. And I will adjust... And do it one more time. Ooh, sorry for the shake, guys. Sorry for the shake. When you listen, when you're doing tutorials, anything is possible. <laughs> and that's why so many of us shy away from doing tutorials. But I will press on. So as you can see, I was able to seal and my eyelet is in and everything is A-OK. -okay. Now this is what we've been doing. And you can do this with wider sheets of paper, narrower sheets of paper, anything you have in order to get this waterfall effect. Nice and simple, no magic, right? You need your eyelets, you need your crocodile, or you could even, you could have gone in and staple it, whatever you have. And if you don't have your stapler and you don't have your crocodile, then you could even go in and just glue the top together. Or you can use, uh, um, you can use, uh, what do you call it again? Oh, these guys. Uh, what do you call these again, guys? Brads. You could use the brads as well. All right. And so... Of course, I went ahead and made some other samples for you. So I showed you this one. But I went ahead and I have been working on quite a bit of journals. And so I went ahead and used my offcuts for my pages. So I have that one. I have this one here. I went in with... Uh, my ink and I just inked up the edges for this one Here's another one because most of my journals are uh, what they're eight and a quarter by Five and a quarter So I normally cut off the pieces especially when I have the eight and a half by 
uh, 14 papers, then I end up with all these bigger pieces, right? So now, so yes, I've been quite busy because once I start getting all my scraps together, it's just such fun play, just layering all of these. We could save paper, guys. We could save the trees. So here's what I would like to show you. So I'm working on this lovely little journal here. Don't you just love the cover? I'm working on this lovely journal. And um, it's quite lovely. I'm going to go in and show you where I can use one of my friends. And so I'm going to put this one right here. Look at that. Look at that page. Isn't that fantastic? So I'm going to use it right here. And all I'm going to do is put a little glue right to the back here. So I'm going to do that right now. Right here. Hope you can see that. Hope I'm in frame. Nothing to it. Do you see that? It's already down. So nice little hideaway. Extra writing spot. Right? You have lots of writing areas on this set page and then of course you have the under underneath there and voila a lovely lovely page of your scrappy paper love it I am loving it just look at that so this is not my idea by no means this is not my idea this is one that's shared. Many of our friends have been using this scrappy idea and it's just fantastic. And I think we need to continue to share all of these ways in which we can use up our scraps because we do pay an arm and a leg, you know, sometimes for our papers. And sometimes as small as they are, we don't want to get rid of them. They're so pretty. Like, for example, I got this... This little scrappy piece here. I'm going to bring it a little closer. It says Muhammad's accent. Uh, sorry. Muhammad's ascent to heaven. And this is from a vintage uh, book that I have. With I think world history of some sort. And it's just this lovely collage of colors that I love. And this one here too. This is from a uh, Michael's uh, 180 pad uh, sheet of paper and I just love this piece here and I am so glad that I can save it and have it here and you know what I mean guys we when papers are so beautiful to junk it it's just a shame so here we are how to use up your scrappy paper and have it as a beautiful accent to your journal page Thank you so much. This is Young's Paper Creations. If you've not yet subscribed, go ahead and do so. And uh, maybe, just maybe, I'll come back at some point and give a nice flip through to this lovely, lovely journal that I've been making. So thank you so very much, guys. Listen, I also have a challenge going on there for you. And a few of you have taken up on that offer of being kind and giving back and helping me to reach my 500 goal to 2000 January 2020 wow right 2020 so I'm looking to hit 500 uh, by the 1st of January anything is possible I might get there I might not it's all up to you and I hope that if you're watching this that uh, you pay it forward and um, assist me in reaching my 500 in the meantime uh, I wish you much success on your site. I am so thankful that I can be a part of this community and I will continue to share, you know, ideas um, and to spread ideas because ideas are not all mine and they're not all, all the, of the ideas in the world. They've all been turned over and tweaked. But um, I am looking also to share the ideas and to spread the ideas 
in my neck of the woods, Canada, Toronto, Ontario. This is where I reside, and I thank you so very much. Young Swiper Creations, subscribe and click the like button there and the notification bell as well. Take care. Blessings. Bye-bye. You might as well share. You might as well smile. Life goes on in itty-bitty while. Take care, guys.